Unraveling Signal Interference, a Simple Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that touches both technology and everyday communication, signal interference. Stick around as we break down this concept into simple, understandable parts, and by the end of this video, you'll not only grasp what it means but also how to use it confidently in your conversations. Before we tackle signal interference, let's first understand what a signal is. In the broadest sense, a signal is any form of communication or transmission. This can be anything from the Wi-Fi signals connecting us to the internet, the radio signals that play our favorite songs, to non-technical signals like hand gestures or facial expressions. Signals are all about sending and receiving information. Now, let's move on to interference. Imagine you're trying to listen to someone at a noisy party, or you're tuning into a radio station that keeps getting static. That disruption, that confusion, that's interference. It's anything that hampers, disrupts, or distorts the signal, making the information harder to send, receive, or understand. When we combine these concepts, Signal interference, specifically refers to the disruption or degradation of the transmission and reception process in electronic communications. But it's not just a technical term. It's applicable in everyday scenarios, too. For instance, trying to talk on your cell phone in a crowded area can result in poor call quality due to signal interference from all the electronic devices around. Signal interference isn't just one size fits all. It comes in various forms. Electromagnetic interference, ME. This is what happens when devices like microwaves or Bluetooth speakers disrupt your Wi-Fi signal. Physical interference, ever noticed how walls or mountains can affect your phone's signal? That's physical interference. Cognitive interference. This is more abstract involving distractions or misunderstandings that disrupt the signal in communication, like loud noises while you're trying to talk. To help you recognize signal interference in daily life, here are a few examples. Your TV signal gets fuzzy during a thunderstorm. Your mobile data slows down in a crowded concert. Misunderstandings in a conversation because someone was distracted. And there you have it. A closer look at signal interference and its impact on both technology and personal communication. We hope this video sheds light on how signals around us are constantly interacting and sometimes interfering with each other. Whether it's your Wi-Fi connection or a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, understanding signal interference can help navigate the noisy world a bit better. Thank you for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.